Welcome to Infi Gyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we will be solving another very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate 6th root of 5 over square root 2025 minus square root 2000. So let's get started by considering expression equal to E. Now I can write E equal to 5 over square root 2025. We know that it is square of 45 minus square root 2000. We can factor square root 400 times 5. Now we can write power as 1 over 6. Now square root and square will be over. And square root 400, we can consider this is square root 20 square. So square root and square will be over, we can write 20. So E will become 5 over 45 minus square root 400 is 20 times square root 5. And then we have power 1 over 6. Now I can write 5 over 5 will be common in the denominator. So in the bracket we can write 9 minus 4 square root 5. We have power 1 over 6. Now 5 and 5 will be cancelled out. We will write 1 in the numerator. So this is equal to 1 over 9 minus 4 square root 5 whole power is 1 over 6. Now we can rationalize our denominator. So I can write here E equal to 1 over 9 minus 4 square root 5. Now we will multiply numerator denominator by denominators conjugate which will be equal to 9 plus 4 square root 5. So we will multiply by the same in the numerator also. Whole power is 1 over 6. Now in denominator it is framing a plus b times a minus b. So we can use difference of two squares formula. 9 square minus 4 square root 5 whole square which will be equal to 81 minus 16 times 5, 80, which will give us 1. So our denominator will be 1. We can write E equal to 9 plus 4 square root 5 and whole power is 1 over 6. Now 1 over 6 we can write 3 minus 2 as 1 and 3 times 2 as 6. Then we can write 3 over 3 times 2, minus 2 over 3 times 2. So 3 and 3 will be over, 2 and 2 will be over. So 1 over 6 will be equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. So we can write 9 plus 4 square root 5 with power half minus 1 over 3. Now using exponent property a power b minus c we can write a power b over a power c. Let's use this property. We can write 9 plus 4 square root 5 power will be half over 9 plus 4 square root 5 with power 1 over 3 or we can write expression e equal to square root 9 plus 4 root 5 over cube root 9 plus 4 square root 5. Now I will say 
numerator is a denominator is b so we have to evaluate a and b separately so let's begin with a square root 9 plus 4 square root 5 which we can write square root 9 can be written as 5 plus 4 then we have 4 square root 5 now 5 can be written as square root 5 whole square 4 is 2 whole square then we have 4 square root 5 which we can write 2 times root 5 times 2 now if i will write one algebraic formula a square plus b square plus 2 a b then here we can use a plus b whole square term so our a will become a square root of a square root 5 plus 2 whole square now square root a square will be over so we'll get our numerator a, a square root 5 plus 2 now we will calculate denominator b cube root of 9 plus 4 square root 5 cube root of 9 plus 4 square root 5 let's consider cubing both sides so we can cancel cube root with cube so i can write b cube equal to 9 plus 4 square root 5 9 is greater than 8 so we can write b cube is greater than 8 and it is less than 27 as 4 root 5 is slightly more than 8 so 9 plus 8 somewhere around 17 so i can write it should be less than 27 so b must be in the interval 2 and 3 now i will consider c cube also which is conjugate of b cube so 9 minus 4 root 5 now we will add these two so we can write b cube plus c cube equal to 9 plus 9 will be 18 i will call this is equation number 1 now let us take the product of these two also so b cube times c cube we can write 9 plus 4 root 5 times 9 minus 4 root 5 a plus b times a minus b we can write 9 square minus 4 square root 5 whole square so 9 square is 81 minus 4 square is 16 root 5 square is 5 so 80 so this difference will come out 1 which we can write 1 cube also so lhs will be bc whole cube rhs is one whole cube once we will take cube root both sides for real bc value we will write bc equal to one and this equation we can consider equation number two now we have to solve these two equations one and two for b let's assume b plus c let us say b plus c is t now we can use one algebraic formula b plus c whole cube this will be equal to b cube plus c cube plus 3bc times b plus c now we have b plus c t so we can write t cube equal to b cube plus c cube is 18 plus 3 times bc is 1 b plus c is t so we can write t cube equal to 18 plus 3t or we can write t cube minus 3t minus 18 equal to 0 now we can find out factors of 18 so we can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 6 plus minus 9 plus minus 18 
leading coefficient is 1 so we can write only plus minus 1 now if i will plug in t equal to 1 will it satisfy 1 minus 3 minus 18 no it won't t equal to 2 will it satisfy 8 minus 6 minus 18 again it won't t equal to 3 27 minus 9 minus 18 yes this time it is true so t equal to 3 is our base solution we can use synthetic division method so i have to write all the coefficients of cubic equation coefficient of t cube 1 coefficient of t square is missing so 0 coefficient of t is negative 3 constant is negative 18 with our base solution 3 now we will write leading coefficient 1 as it is now we have to take the product of these two 3 times 1 is 3 0 plus 3 is 3 3 times 3 is 9 negative 3 plus 9 is 6 3 times 6 is 18 minus 18 plus 18 will be 0 so these are coefficients for quadratic equation which will be equal to t square plus 3t plus 6 equal to 0. Now we will check the discriminant delta. It is equal to b square minus 4ac. b is coefficient of t. So we will write 3 square minus 4 times. a is coefficient of t square 1. c is 6. So I can write 9 minus 24. We are getting discriminant negative. So we will reject as we will have complex solutions. So I can write solutions will be complex. So rejected. So we will accept only t equal to 3. t equal to 3. And t was b plus c equal to 3. Now our second equation was bc equal to 1. So from here I can write c will be equal to 1 over b. Let's put this value in this equation. So b plus 1 over b equal to 3. Multiply both sides by b. We will get b square plus b times 1 over b which will be 1 equal to 3b or I can write b square minus 3b plus 1 equal to 0. Now again we have quadratic equation we can use quadratic formula and condition on b was b should lie in the interval 2 and 3. Let's apply formula b equal to minus b so minus of minus 3 becomes plus 3 plus minus is square root b square is 9 minus 4 ac is 4 9 minus 4 is 5 over 2 so we will get two values 3 plus root 5 over 2 and 3 minus root 5 over 2 so if i will write approximate value of both the values then this is less than 1. So we will reject this solution. And this is 2.6 approximately. So we will accept B as 3 plus root 5 over 2. Now we have both the values A and B, numerator and denominator. Let's figure out expression E. So I will write E equal to a over b a was root 5 plus 2 and b we just calculated 3 plus root 5 over 2 so i can write e will be equal to 2 times root 5 plus 2 over 3 plus root 5 now again I will rationalize our denominator. 
so i can write 3 plus the conjugate of 3 plus root 5 is 3 minus root 5 so we will multiply by the same in the numerator and denominator now denominator will give us 3 square minus root 5 whole square which will be equal to 9 minus 5 value will be 4 so we can write expression e equal to 2 times root 5 plus 2 times 3 minus root 5 over 4 now we can cancel 2 and 4 so denominator will become 2 now we have to multiply our numerator brackets so i can write 3 root 5 minus 5 plus 6 minus 2 root 5 over 2 so we will get root 5 plus 1 over 2 so our final answer is root 5 plus 1 over 2 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video take care